Hello and welcome to another Revit tip video. Today we're going to be talking about work sets and using work sets across your Revit project. So work sets are created down here. You'll want to, you know, here's like the basic thing that you can have. So you can just create one uh, off the start. I've got already got a ton of stuff in this project, but uh, it's going to start enable work sharing, uh, which is this first set, and then you can create new work sets. So let's just say we want to create power. And then with work sets, you can basically you start editing views and all this other stuff. Um, there are a few good use cases for work sets. Like if you want to really uh, turn stuff off that might not be able to be done in uh, visibility graphics. Uh, but for the most part, I find visibility graphics a little better in work sets, um, but a lot of people do like working in work sets. So you can just say power and here you go. That, I mean, this is really like the simplest way to start. So you can go ahead and hit okay. Um, you can make power the active work set. So down here you can, you know, uh, flip between other work sets. So as you uh, change stuff, you can add them to or add different work sets. So I'm going to select now all the receptacles in this. And right now it's on work set one, but we will really want this to be on a power work set. So we'll make that swap. Now all these devices are on power. Um, so that's it's going through changing all these 730 receptacles onto a power work set. So now when I'm creating uh, different content, it'll place it on the work set that I have selected. So let's go through here and real quick in visibility graphics, uh, say that oops, I have a uh, view template applied. So we'll go in here to visibility graphics, um, say work sets, and then really in this power plan, we're gonna say that that's gonna be visible in this, we're gonna hide. Right, so quick way to hide anything that's on another work set, right? So now all that other stuff is on another work set. So we're just gonna see power. Obviously that's not what we totally want, but you get the point. You can uh, hide um, pieces in other work sets. So we can just go back to using global settings. We'll apply, right, that it's not there. Um, so we can also go ahead and in our work sets, uh, let's say that we want uh, lighting, right? We'll create lighting. We can make lighting the active work set. And within our power plan, oops, I guess we did not make that back visible. And then for lighting, let's make this uh, not visible. We'll apply it, hit OK. OK, now everything's back, right? So lighting is our new work set. So we're going to hit uh, Control S. So because lighting is our work set, right? It's not gonna show up on our drawing. Now with this, if we go back to our power plan, go to our work set filter here, and then we say that we want to show uh, lighting, right? Because this element is on it, now it's gonna show up. So that's a simple way of how work sets work now, but if I go back to where power is my, you know, current work set. Now I can create this. Uh, it's now going to be on power, right? This is going to be on lighting. Then we'll go back to our view template, edit our work set, and we'll now hide uh, in our power plans, we'll hide lighting, right? So there you go. That device disappeared and went away all because it's on a different work set. So that's the basics of work sets. You need to make sure that your devices are on the right work set uh, for them to show up, but can give you a simple way to uh, change your visibility graphics with different content, throw it on different layers. Um, I personally really prefer using view templates and then just your typical model stuff. Um, far often than not, things get thrown on different work sets that uh, really shouldn't be there. It screws up your sheets. Uh, versus if you just had it in, you know, you're just using your regular model categories, what you show, what you don't, um, makes it much easier. And then really the other thing that you end up uh, needing to do is um, basically hiding stuff in linked models. So if the architects are also showing like 
receptacles or lights or other content that you don't want to see in that particular view, right? Like you want your outlets, your lights to show up, but not in the, like from the architectural model. So you come in here, hit custom, then you can hit custom here um, and then hide all the stuff that you don't want to see uh, from like the electric or from the architectural model. So that's, that's the other way to, to do it. I find that's much more effective than the work sets. But again, uh, a lot of firms use work sets uh, and it, they can be very effective. I just find that more often than not, people put things on the wrong work set. I'm as guilty of it as anybody else, especially working in uh, multiple models. So that's your quick walkthrough on work sets and using work sets to help you know segment everything. That's how you create them. That's how you uh, put different things on them. So this is a simple video on work sets. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.